The developmental designs modeling format used in this video includes an explicit demonstration of each routine and time to practice the routine exactly as it was modeled. There are five steps in the modeling process. Step one, gathering ideas. Step two, the teacher or a student demonstrates. Step three, a discussion of the demonstration. Four, everybody practices. And five, a discussion of possible variations. The objective of modeling and practicing is always the same, to guide students to the point where they can follow routines responsibly on their own. Modeling is not usually a terrifically popular school activity. It's careful and slow, but because it eliminates a lot of daily fussing over routines, it frees us all. Teachers avoid having to constantly correct student mistakes, and students get to be more active, work more with peers, and operate with the independence they crave. As you're covering this, watch what's happening to the temperature gauge. Above your fingers, below your fingers, and also where your fingers are. Misa, look like this. Now, just observe right now. And as soon as you see a change above, below, or where your fingers are, tell us what you are seeing. Don't cover the top. Don't cover the top. Leave the top open. Don't leave the top open for right now. Leave the top open. Hey. Oh, wow. Cool.